Hello, and welcome to Knit All the Yarn podcast. My name is Lisa, and I live in Michigan with my husband and my two girls. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as 72 Stitches. Today is Friday, July 27th. Can't believe July is already over with. I'm drinking coffee with vanilla creamer. I am on the hunt for pumpkin spice creamer, guys. I went to the store yesterday, wasn't there. I'm pretty sure last year around this time it was in the stores. So I am looking. This is a podcast mostly about knitting, maybe some crochet, maybe some cross stitch. And if you haven't noticed already, uh, my husband's at work, kids are at home, and you will hear them in the background today. Hopefully there won't be, will be happy, you know, happy noises in the background and not yelling and screaming. Cross your fingers. And this is episode two. All right, let's do this. So I am so proud of myself. All of the whips that I showed you last week are done. Yay! Alright, so let's start. First one. Da -da -da. Finish my Molly Weasley socks. This is by Nomadic Yarns. Gonna have some lighting issues. Molly Weasley colorway. I also finished the book. So here we are. Um, let's see, 64 stitches. I use the smooth operator sock pattern and I do afterthought heels. And I use the Kirby Werby uh, video on YouTube because I, I like her heel better than the pattern one. And I use 2.5 needles, uh, two at a time, magic loop. I forgot to say that last time, that I do the magic loop. Oops. So, yeah. These are done. Alright. F.O. number one. Number two. Number one. Number two. I finished it. This is the Sockhead Cowl. Yarn is Lolo Did It. I Heart Michonne colorway. I'm not sure about this. I guess I, I will try it on for you guys. Take off my glasses. The only reason I'm unsure about this is because it's really tight around my neck. And I'm sure that's how it's supposed to be. I don't know if it's going to be very comfortable. Alright. So, he's like, I feel like I'm going to rob a bank now. I don't know. I'm sure this is how it's supposed to go. And I'll put my glasses back on so I can see myself. There we go. So, I'm sure it'll be okay, like, with the coat. But I don't know. I just, it feels too tight to me. I don't know. Maybe it'll loosen up. Maybe I roll it like this? I don't know. I'm not sure how to wear this thing. Well, I don't know. I just... Let's go... Let's go rob a bank, guys. I don't know. <laughs> Be silly. <laughs> I'm being silly. So, this is done. I used Addy... Uh, Addy, Addy needles. 16 inch. And the 3 millimeter needle. I mean, it was it was very relaxing knit and everything, but I, I don't know how to wear this. Maybe this is how you're supposed to wear it. Most of the cowls that I make are, like, they're bigger and, you know, loose. I don't know, maybe, maybe I should block it. Oh, phone's ringing. Awesome. We'll just let that ring while I take this off. You'll hear my message, my answering machine.
Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't know about you guys, but I don't answer my phone. That's what the answer machine's for. But I always get these phone calls, and there's no, there's no message. Sometimes even when I pick up the phone, there's like nobody there, and I'm like, really? So I just don't answer my phone. That was nice. This is, this is going well. Episode two is going well. All right. So that is my socket cowl. All right. Last F.O. And I absolutely love these. I started knitting them and I could not stop. <gasps> oh, I love these. Lighting is super bad. I posted a picture on Instagram if you want a better uh, picture. But, oh, I love these. These are Haverlin Yarns. Shock. Shock. Shark in Awe colorway. Man, my kids are getting loud. Oh well. It's real life, guys. I love these. Same thing. 64 stitches. I use the smooth operator sock pattern. Kirby Werby afterthought heel. Two at a time. 2.5 needle. Magic loop. But yeah. So bright. And that's that. Yeah, if you want more better pictures, I post everything on Instagram. Whoops, what am I doing? Taking them off the blockers. I don't have to do that. All right, let's move on. Things are not... Probably should just start this over. No, I'm not. Let's just keep going. Let's keep on moving. All right, now we're going to go on to whips. Whip number one. And freckled, whimsy bag. I don't know if she makes bags anymore, but I know she does yarn. I'll put, uh, I know, I figured out how to do show notes. So they'll be down there. Put shops and patterns and everything. Everything will be down there. So, Freckled Whimsy, it's got little red riding hood and wolves. All right, <clears throat> now you guys never seen these. I think I probably should really podcast once a week. I don't know, we'll see. You guys never seen these. They're all tangled in my bag. And they're almost done. This is uh, Knit Picks Fleechy in the chickadee colorway. And they are ready for toes and heels. I'm not sure when I started these. So same um, 2.5 needles, magic loop, 64 stitches. Thinking about doing the heels in uh, <clears throat> Knit Pick Stroll and Mint, Mint colorway. And this color right here is mint. I can't really tell, but. So I'm going to try, depending on where my heel is going to land, I'll use this if it doesn't land on the mint stripe. I don't know. We'll just wait and see. Might have a mint stripe. Might not. Might just be a... A stripey heel. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Um, I got my Walking Dead stitch markers. Our progress keepers. I keep calling them stitch markers. Um, I found these uh, Walking Dead or zombie charms at Joann's last year. So there's a little zombie little axe. And I just turned them into uh, progress keepers. And that is that. Almost done with those. I'd like to finish those by this weekend, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Get a drink. All right. Whip number two. 
I attempted to sew some bags and I failed. I could not do zipper to save my life. I cut all the pieces out and I said, mom, help me. So my mom sewed it for me, but I cut all the pieces out. But so this is a bag, it's like a triangle, triangle bag. Cat hair all over it. Another whip that you guys have never seen. And almost done. <clears throat> you follow me on Instagram and you'll see more um, updated progress pictures. This is the... What is this? Patiki cowl? I'm not sure. I'll put the pattern down there. She also has a hat. It's a hat and cowl pattern. It's a paid for pattern. I've never did the hat, but I really like the cowl. I've made this a couple times before. Made one for me and my one of my girls like, oh, I really love that. Can I have it? I guess. And then my other girl's like, but I want one too. I'm like, okay. So I've made two for them. I don't know if they're going to wear them this winter. We'll wait and see. So this one is mine. And I'm using Knit Picks. Swish DK. Let's see. Yep, this is the yellow is corn mill, corn meal, and the gray is marbled heather. And I have about twelve rows, fifteen rows left. Oh, that's bad. Let's not do that. Let's hold it back here. Yep, so I got about 15 rows and then I'm gonna do more rib and that's done. Yay! I really love this. And let's see, needles. <coughs> Using clover, clover bamboo needles. US6, US6, four point millimeter. 24 inch. Yep, that's it. Thought I was going to run out of yarn, but I still have two of these left, so I'm good. The pattern wrote out how much yarn you needed for both items, and I'm like, but I just want to make one. So I said, well, I hope 100 grams is enough of each. I'm probably going to have extra, but it's good. I'd rather have extra than not enough. All right, whip number three. Hamilton bag by Stitching Plaza. Seen that bag last week. Working on more socks. Cast these on a couple days ago, and I'm like, I don't know about this color. I don't know. So, here it is. Also, I have more, better pictures on Instagram. This, this lighting today, it's like all of a sudden sunny, and all of a sudden cloudy. So, I don't know. Socks. Yarn is by, <laughs> sounds like my kids are dying down there, Scrumptious Pearl, and the Snow Cones uh, colorway. I decided that I better use this during summer, because Snow Cones. I've had it in my stash for about a year, and I'm like, if I don't knit this this year, I'm not going to knit it until next summer. So I said, well, let's just, let's just knit it. I like this mint stripe. And the hot pink. I don't know. I'm not a hot pink person. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. Maybe as I knit them, I'll enjoy them more. So, since it's called Snow Cone, I got... <laughs> since it's Snow Cone, I decided to put Snowflake and a Snowman. Snowman. I found these charms on online, thinkfusionbeads.com. 
I just turned them into progress keepers. So here we are. Oh, also, Magic Loop. I use a 40 inch cord for two at a time. Magic Loop, two at a time. 64 stitches. That's that. And now the sun comes out. What else? 2.5. Did I already say that? <laughs> so, yep, that's it. All right. Since I have no stash enhancement this week, I've been very good. But next month, it's my birthday month, so I might be buying some yarn. Um, I, I am going to be knitting myself a sweater. My first sweater for me. I have um, used the Knit Picks. Or not Knit Picks. Um, tin Can Knits. Flax pattern. I've made uh, two baby sweaters just to uh, practice. And then I knit two for my kids. So I've knit four of them already. I'm pretty sure I can knit one for myself just might take longer because it's bigger. So I'm gonna probably buy some yarn next month for that. I just, I can't decide on a color. One day I'm like, gray. I always wear gray, I love gray. And then another day I'm like, you need to branch out. Try a green, try a dark red. So I'm conflicted. So since I don't have any stash, I will show another whip that I just started yesterday. Um, I saw um, on Instagram, uh, Kate Celine, she is knitting a big long tube and turning it into a scarf. And I've been thinking, I have all this scrap sock yarn. It's like, I need to do something with it. It's, it's too, there's not enough scraps to do. I mean, I could do scrappy socks, but with striping yarn, I, I don't know how that would look. So I decided that, well, I'll just knit one of those tubes and she's making a scarf but I think I'm going to um, knit knit a big tube and then Kitchener the stitches together and make a cowl because I love cowls if you haven't noticed already cowls and socks is what I'm knitting right now so I have never done provisional cast on but I did it guys and this is very baby because I just started this yesterday so I went through my sock yarn stash, and oh my word, I have so many nomadic yarn scraps. So I decided that I'm going to see, I'm just going to use nomadic yarns and see how far I can go. So here we go. It's very, very tiny. And it's curling because it's so tiny. Can't see that very well because my fingers in the way. But here we go. I started it. I did a provisional cast on first time. Got it. See how it goes when I try when I go to Kitchener it off. So I'm just kind of basing it off what she's doing. I'm sure there's a pattern out there, but um, using 16 inch circulars. So I'm just gonna knit a tube. Um what size needle is this? Two? Yep, yeah, US2 Addies. Same needle I use for my sock head hats. So I decided, well, sometimes I need something that's mindless, especially in the evenings. So it's like, I'm too tired. Let's not do color work before bed. So I decided to do this. So I'm not sure, this, this will probably be a very ongoing project. I probably won't be showing this every time I podcast. And, uh, so let's use up them scraps, right? I'm not sure. If I don't have enough nomadic yarns to do a whole one, I have other scraps, but they're, this is her 75, uh, 25 base, and I have a lot of 80, 20, but I'm not sure if it's going to change the width you know, it'll be like stray and all of a sudden it'll go like this and I don't know if I want that so 
Maybe I'll just try to just put 75-25 in this. And I have a lot of Knit Picks Felici, but I have another plan for that. I am I started a blanket with just that. A granny stripe blanket. I will show that in the future when I dig it out again. So, this is that. So, I guess that is it. Ooh, 20 minutes. Oh, 20 minutes. All right. I think that's it. Oh, let's see what else. Thank you all for watching. And I am so surprised how many su subscribers that I've gotten. I'm like, nobody's going to watch this. I am very surprised. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I forgot to say, you know, welcome to all the new viewers. And hello to all the returning viewers. Nice. All right, Dan. Let's see if he's stuck around. Let's see. Do I want to talk about life stuff? Not really. Well, maybe we'll dabble in it just a little bit. I'm already 20 minutes. This week has been rough. We won't, I won't get into too much details. My cat's not doing well. We're going to take her to the vet on Sunday, which is why I'm podcasting on Friday. I was going to do it on Sunday, but I, I'm not going to be in a good space to be doing it on Sunday. So, taking her on Friday. She's 12, 12 years old, 13 years old. I'm not sure what's going on. She's got a lot of drooling. She's drinking a lot, so that can mean kidney problems, diabetes. I don't know. I mean, she's not. She's not very. She's not a big cat, so I. I don't know. Maybe that's. Maybe it is diabetes. I mean, she's very tiny. She's still eating, still drinking, still going bathroom normal. So let's see how it goes. And then my youngest daughter. It's like Monday night looking in her mouth. I mean, she probably laughed and we saw something in her mouth. And I'm like, what is that? It was by her tonsils. It was white. So good old Google looked it up and it looked like it was a tonsil stone. I don't know about you guys, but I have never heard of a tonsil stone. So I was a little freaked out by that. Called my doctor, explained what was going on. Tried to get her appointment. No appointments available for like two days. Like awesome. I'm like, well, I'll try to call back tomorrow, which was Wednesday. See if I can get a Thursday appointment. Well, after I talked to the doctor or the nurse, it fell out. It was gone, and I'm like, so she swallowed it. And I'm like, oh, geez. is it okay if she swallows it? Ugh. So, and I'm like, well, I guess we're not taking her to the doctor anymore because there's nothing to show her. She was fine. No, no sore throat. No, she was eating fine, drinking fine. No throwing up or anything like that. So, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard of tonsil stones. Have you guys have heard of tonsil stones? So, I guess that is it. I will try to podcast again next two weeks. If you want to keep up with all of my pictures and progress pictures, uh, follow me on Instagram. That's 72 stitches. I post a lot. I'm on there pretty much every day, sometimes more than once. And again, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to keep watching. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Bye.